Good day. In this video, we're going to solve this equation, and it involves the rules applied with sigma notation. For the purpose of this video, you need to know how sigma notation works. Sigma notation is used when they want you to find the sum of the terms in a series. You must know the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series, and you must know how to find out the whether it is or isn't an arithmetic series. Let's quickly revise what we should know about sigma notation. This means it's a sigma sign. We must add the terms in the series. First, we have to find the terms in this series. To find term 1, we take that 4, plug it into the formula, work it out, and get the answer. So term 1 is 5. Then we take the number above 4, which is 5, plug it in here. 2 times 5 minus 3 gives us 7, that is term 2. Then we take the next number after 5, which is 6, we plug it in here. We get the third term, which is 9. So A will be 5, that is term 1. We check our difference, we take term 2 minus term 1, and we get 2. We check it, term 3 minus term 2, it also gives you 2, that tells you it's an arithmetic series. We have a constant first difference of 2. Next, we have to find out what the number of terms in this series is. And we'll write it out for you later in the video. It's always this top number minus the bottom number plus 1. So it's 14 minus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11. The number of terms in this series is 11. Then substitute all these values into the sum formula. We get our final answer. The sum of these 11 terms is 165. Please stop the video and make sure you understand this part. You may send a message to this number if you want to donate funds to have more videos like these made. Now back to our original problem. It said here determine the value of n, that capital N over there, in this equation. First we work out the first three terms of this series. To find term 1, we take this 5, plug it into this formula and get the answer. So term 1 will be minus 5. Take the next number, which is 6, plug it into the formula and get the answer minus 7. Take the next number, which is 7, plug it in here and get the answer minus 9. So my term 1 is this, term 2 is this, and term 3 is that. So we know that A is minus 5, and our constant difference is minus 2. If you take term 2 minus term 1, that's minus 7, minus minus 5, you get minus 2. Then you check it. Minus 9 minus minus 7 is also minus 2. So I know it's an arithmetic series. They gave me the sum of this series. I know it's arithmetic, so I will use this sum formula. We now want to work out what the number of terms in this series is. We fill in the sum of the terms that we have on this side. Fill in term 1 here and the difference over there. Now we simplify this equation, we first times by the LCD on both sides, that too, we times on both sides. Then we simplify the equation further. Then because we see we have a quadratic equation, we take everything to one side and equate it to zero. Now we solve for n. To simplify it a bit, you may divide by a minus 2 right through the equation. If you find these two answers by either using the calculator or the quadratic formula, or you factorize it, or you do the completing of the square. Please look at the video that shows you how to solve a quadratic equation in four ways. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Remember they ask us to determine the value of n, that value up there. Like we said in the beginning of the video, to find the number of terms n in sigma notation, this n is found by taking the top minus the bottom plus 1. So that n, the 36, is that n over there minus that 5 plus 1. Which you might want to write like this. Then we have 36 equals n minus 4. Then capital N is 40, our final answer. Please stop the video and get your brain around this solution. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy sequences and series.